Hello and a warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against West Ham United. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. The initial 11 for Wolves. Nelson Semedo plays with Marsal in the fullback positions. Joao Moutinho plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Said Ben Rama. So a throw in here. And players waiting in the centre. Suchek. He takes aim, and blocked for now. Well, never afraid of lashing in the long-range shot, Ruben Neves, but so many other positive qualities. Stuart, interested to know what you think we'll see from him today. Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball, and he can generate so much pace, and when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swerve on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. Ruben Neves and there to intervene Antonio Ruben Neves in possession Adama and he's broken free Moutinho, and a goal! That will do it, they've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So West Ham get us moving again and a swift response required after the setback. Lanzini and it's with Tomas Suchek. Well able to close down the short. Trincao. It's with Moutinho. Well, they keep the ball moving. Neves. Adama. Inside he goes. But they took care of the situation defensively.
What can the Hammers do from this position? Not the pass he had in mind. Adama. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And they need to get tighter here. Well, clattered away. Suchek. Declan Rice. And West Ham in a position of menace. It's there for him. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And he clears the danger. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Marcel. It's with Ruben Nevis. Chance to play it in. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. Second goal for them here. Suchek. Here's Manuel Lanzini. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Said Benrama. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. No way through. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. Into the second half then. Will it be more of the same from Wolves? Utter domination in the first 45. Will it be a repeat performance this half? He's taken on his opponent here. That's not a bad ball. Well, not the best clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. Lanzini. Pablo Fornals with it. Declan Rice, Suchek, ball with Pablo Fornals, useful looking position you've got to say, good use of advantage by the referee, how about the cross, able to deal with the threat, Fornals, superb block, and cut again from the flank. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Press well. Defensive efficiency personified. 
Well, as you can see, Wolves are seeing much less of the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, they're counting. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. Can he convert? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural break before administering the caution. Number 20, Jared Darwin. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Delivering it. Not a time for cool heads. For Niles. Went in strongly, decisively. Can Murray share it? That's Murray For Dance. Intelligent threaded pass here. Could it be? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And the danger still on. Nelson Semedo. Just cutting off the supply. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Declan Rice. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Oh, a nice looking pass. Just can't get it past him. And they could face difficulties here. Takes on the shot. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. Substitution for Wolves. Coming off the pitch. Number 28. For Dance. Oh, what an opportunity! Surely! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And he's fired over the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. We're being pressed here. Vladimir Kuval. Yarmolenko. Effective challenge. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. And it's offside. That was very close. Here it is now, a substitution. Number eight, Ruben Nevis. Coming onto the pitch. Number 32, Leander De Duncan. Substitution for West Ham United. Coming off the pitch. Number 10, Manuel Lanzini. To be replaced by... Number 16, Suchek. And it's Mark Noble. Antonio. And there to intervene. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Yarmolenko. Options in the centre. It looks promising. And can he find someone at the far post? Well cleared away. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the office as far as West Ham are concerned. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out.
Well, Raul Jimenez, difficult to contain. We've said that before, of course. How would you sum up his contribution? Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.